Hey there, this is Seth Schaefer from Team Just Cause Robotics, and today I'm going to talk to you about my next design that is guaranteed to beat every robot at Norwalk Havoc in April. As you know, I just competed at the Norwalk Havoc event in March, and Vision didn't necessarily do so hot, so I'm thinking of just completely scrapping that design even though I spent about $1000 on it and starting over from scratch for something completely different. Now, I'm showing some clips here you can see of some fights that happened at Norwalk Havoc, and you'll notice that all of these fights have one thing in common. The same thing that's in common with the vast majority of fights at Norwalk Havoc. One of the robots has a Golden Fingertech Beater Bar. Now, the Fingertech Beater Bar is an easily available off-the-shelf solution for a weapon, and as we've seen at Norwalk Havoc competitions in the past, it continues to be held by some of the most dominant performing robots throughout the whole competition. I mean, just look at all the hits that that thing can dish out. It's clearly the absolute best possible weapon that any robot could ever use, and there's certainly no reason to use a weapon other than that. I mean, what was I even thinking with Division using that huge 7.5 inch diameter disc? I mean, seriously, it's not like any weapon has ever beat one of these beater bar bots in a significant fashion. Um, well, okay, just... All right, don't pay attention to that one. I I'm sure that was just a fluke. It's not like that happens every time a beater bar bot fights another vertical spinner. Just, just uh, okay, 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 okay. We get it, we get it, we get it. The bot was completely fucked up, all right? Sorry. Anyway, as I was saying, you can see that this champion award-winning bot Shreddit Bro used the Fingertech beater bar for a number of years. It went on to win three consecutive Norwalk Havoc tournaments back in 2020 using just this one weapon. And you can see here it's even fighting against a robot we saw earlier, Yes Jeff, dominating other bots with the unpainted version of the Fingertech beater bar. It just goes to show, the only thing that makes the Fingertech beater bar more powerful than the Fingertech beater bar is painting it blue, okay? Now, we all know that the Fingertech Beater Bar is the best, and when painted blue, it unlocks its true power. But I think that there is one more way that I can make an improvement to the Fingertech Beater Bar that would make the absolute ultimate in Norwalk competitor robots. This is F-O-O-L-S. Fingertech beater bar, obviously. Only longer, stupid. The only way to make a robot even more powerful and formidable than Shred It Bro is to make double Shred It Bro. Obviously, this would be completely impossible to defeat at Norwalk Havoc just from the weapon power alone, but no, I didn't stop there. I needed to make the rest of the bot actually functional as well. As you can see here, the drivetrain is powered by my own custom Nerf motor powered dart box gear motors with the Kraken motor. We have my all-in-one PCB to power the whole thing, spreading power from the two 2S LiPo batteries that would be wired in series for a 4S system, through the battery port, to the drive speed controllers, and the dual weapon speed controllers, which aren't pictured, that would run the two 1806 weapon motors. These using a 9 to 30 ratio would be able to get the weapon up to speed no problem, as they should have plenty of torque with two motors, even for the power of two beater bars at once. Now, you'll notice that there is one other a little bit strange feature here. Uh, the wedge on the back, obviously the only other thing of note here. Uh, the wedge is designed to make it so that this bot can survive horizontal spinner hits without having to just tank them to the wheels, as we all know that foam wheels are not necessarily the best thing at taking on horizontal spinner hits. But I'm sure the rest of this bot will be almost completely indestructible because it's being printed out of the absolute most durable material known to mankind, ABS. The top panel, of course, being made out of acrylic, which is only a little bit less brittle than ABS, and therefore couldn't possibly fail in any spectacular fashion. But you'll also note that as a bot builder, sometimes we need to make repairs to our robots. And we always tell event organizers that the last thing we need to do is put the top panel on. Well, how do you ensure that you have enough time to do that and make all of your other repairs? Well, quite simply, you just need 68 top panel screws. 
Of course, this gives us the ability to have one more hole in the top panel so that we have the exact proper number of holes, 69. And on top of that, you don't have to use every screw, but you can tell the event organizer that you do, and then you'll have at least half an hour to put your robot back together between every single fight. Now, obviously, I can't think of a single reason that this robot would ever fail, but that doesn't mean that I have to be the first one to build it. So I am going to sell this design on my website starting on April 1st, 2022 for the low, low price of exactly 420, the only price that would ever be appropriate for a design of this caliber. So make sure to check it out on my site. And that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.